Hello and welcome to my second tutorial and in this tutorial we will, sh we will be showing you how to uh, spawn in randomly random objects uh, along the right side and giving it a random Y value. So to begin off we will press Control 8 to insert a new symbol and we will be calling it enemy ship uh, with no space in between as well. Enemy ship for the class name as well as the identifier make sure that there's no space and it's all capitalized the same as flash is very case sensitive clicking OK and then for a placeholder art we're just going to draw a little rectangle of blue here and you can do this whatever you want this is just placeholder art and then we're going to be clicking control N or if I already have this up enemy ship or click control N and open an action script file essentially the same thing as what we did with class ship we're going to be giving uh, it a variable of speed and then function on load an x coordinate of 1300 which means that will be spawning on the far right of the stage and then we will giving it a y value anything in between 1 and 600 and then putting a basic of 50 and then the same thing for the speed anything between 1 and 5 and then plus 5 so that this is what this function is doing it's just giving any number between that and then the function on enter frame will be giving the x coordinate updating every single frame that means 30 times a second with uh, the speed and then if the actual ship has surpassed the stage and has gone to the far left side we will just remove the movie clip from it so that it doesn't lag our computers. So now on the actual ship class, we will be spawning it in. And to do this, we will be declaring a new variable, which we will call eTimer, giving it a number of 0. And then on the on enter frame, function on enter frame, every single frame we will add one to it so that in our if statement to actually spawn our sh our enemy ship e timer if it's greater than 60 which means that so since our stage is running at 30 frames per second it will calculate or uh, sorry it'll add one every single frame so 30 times a second and then since it's 60 that means every two seconds and then in this actual code we'll have to reset the timer first to zero and then using this code to spawn the ship what this is although it may look complicated it's pretty simple what we're doing is attaching the actual enemy ship to our stage here and then calling it enemy ship and then here we will be giving the ship a new layer on top of the stage. Click Control S to save it and then for this one click Control S to save wherever it is that um, wherever it is that you have your game saved at save, replace it. And then click Control S to save on your stage as well and then click Control Enter to play it. And there we go we have our so-called enemy ships and in the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to actually have hit collision testing so that if you hit them, uh, your actual ship disappears. Thank you for watching.